Salvete omnes. If you'd like to support the channel along with these patrons, there's a link in the description box below. In this lesson, we'll go through a humorous dialogue that shouldn't be too difficult to understand if you're at about an intermediate level. Let's dive in. Hurtam morosus es, quod filius meus magnum curam mihi dat. Doleo es ne puer ham malus, et malus et molestus est auctoritatem in eum nullam habeo. Meus quoque filius cum pudore naro similis erat, sed miro modo sanatus est. Mehecle mihi nara modum si te amicum recte apello. Libenter, forte filius meus qui ambulabat cum pueris alis, Mulierem et magnum asellorum numerum spectavit. Filius plenus audaciae exclamavit. Heius mater asellorum? Heius mi fili, mulier respondit. Sanatus est his duris verbis uer meus. Did you understand everything? If not, let's go through the dialogue together. The first sentence was, Hurtam morosus es? Most of the WH words turn into QU words in Latin, but a few begin with a C, like cur, which means why. And tam is used when making comparisons. This first sentence means, why are you so morose, or peevish? And the answer is, Quod filius meus magnum curam mihi dat. Because my son gives me magnam curam. The verb curare means to care for or look after, as you would do when you try to cure someone. And cura also means care. But it can also sort of have the opposite meaning of grief or sorrow, which the word care can also have in English when we say he didn't have a care in the world. So magnam curam means great grief. Doleo es ne puer ham malus? The root word dol means pain and is in many English words like condolence, dolorous, and doleful. So doleo can mean I hurt, but it is also an idiomatic way to say I'm sorry. And then he continues, is the boy so bad? To which the response is, et malus et molestus est. Auctoritatem in eum nullam habeo. It may seem weird that there are two ands in the first sentence, but it functions like the words both dot 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 and in English. So he is both bad and annoying. The second description has the old definition of this word and no sexual connotation. And the second sentence is almost English. Authority in him null I have. Or in smoother English, I have no authority over him. Meus quoque filius cum pudore naro similis erat, sed miro modo sanatus est. Quoque means also, and it interrupts meus and filius, which we have seen in the intermediate stories, and this is just the way Latin was spoken. And this says, my son was also similar, I narrate with, something. To say something with pudore is the opposite of saying something impudently, so in other words, modestly. Miro modo are in the ablative case because it means by means of a miraculous manner. We can see that mirus and miracle both contain the root mir, and the root san from sanatus is in the words sane and sanitary. So the end of this sentence means, but miraculously he was healed. The other speaker is of course surprised to hear this and says, Mehecle mihi nara modum si te amicum recte apello. This first word is a mild curse word like crying out, by Hercules. <laughs> nara is the imperative or command form. So this continues, narrate or tell me the way. And the last part sounds like a line from Shakespeare, if I rightly call you a friend. And here's the answer. Libenter, 
Porte filius meus, qui ambulabat cum pueris alis, mulierem et magnum acellorum numerum spectavit. Libenter is the way you can say you're welcome, but it literally means gladly. Forte means once, as in once upon a time. It's like saying, as fortune would have it. So this begins, once my son who was walking with the other boys. Then we have the word mulier, which is thought to have come from mulgere or milk giver. In other words, woman. And an aselus is an ass or donkey. And it's in the plural genitive form here. So the rest of the sentence says that the boy saw a woman and a great number of donkeys. Filius plenus audaciae exclamavit, heius mater acelorum, heius mi fili mulier respondit, sanatus est his duris verbis huer meus. And what does plenus mean? If you replenish something, you refill it. So we have, my son full of audacity exclaimed, Hey, mother of donkeys. Hey, my son, responded the woman. The joke is that she's basically calling the boy in a sailus. And what are durable words? Hard or harsh words. And again, is duris verbis are all in the ablative form because these are what the boy is healed by. And why is puer meus not in accusative form since he's the one being healed? Because sanatus est is the perfect past tense of the passive form, so the object becomes the subject in these sentences. Okay, see if you understand everything now as we go through the dialogue once more. Curtam morosus est, quod filius meus magnum curam mihi dat. Doleo esne puer ham malus, et malus et molestus est. Auctoritatem in eum nullam habeo. Meus quoque filius, cum pudore naro, similis erat, sed miro modo sanatus est. Mehecle, mihi nara modum, si te amicum recte apello. Libenter, porte filius meus, qui ambulabat cum pueris alis, Mulierem et magnum acellorum numerum spectavit. Filius plenus audaciae exclamavit. Heius mater acellorum. Heius mi fili, mulier respondit. Sanatus est his duris verbis huer meus. Okay, hopefully that was at least a little bit funny. <laughs> See you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and if you can, help support the channel on Patreon, where there are audio downloads and transcripts of each dialogue and story. Gratias!